Hello everyone on YouTube, Lupus Creep is here for Will It Kill Me? Though uh, it's going to be not really a dangerous one tonight, uh, more, it's going to be more like Will It Work? Because tonight we're going to do those great girly sleepover games. That's right, we're going to do Light as a Feather, Cat Scratch, and Concentrate. I know most everyone's heard of Light as a Feather. Some people probably have heard of Cat Scratch. Concentrate, you know, might be a little, you know, under the radar, but it's a very interesting one. Uh, but hey, maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe they'll drop me while they're carrying me and I'll still die. I don't know. There's still a possibility of lupus death. Uh, before we get into it, though, there's a couple things I want to say. Uh, one, again, I am looking at all of your comments. That's actually why I'm doing this particular video, because I got a request for Light as a Feather and Cat Scratch, and I just wanted to round it out with uh, Concentrate. It's very interesting. So I am looking at your comments. I'm going to plow through them as quickly as I can, but I can only kill myself so many times a week. Uh, also... I wanted to say thank you to everyone because 500 subscribers. I'm really excited because uh, I can. I'm so excited. I can't even talk right now. But I'm really excited because it seems like people are actually enjoying my my little channel, and you know I have you know pretty much my crew here who's been helping me out with all these uh, will it kill me's. They that they always think they're just waiting for me to die. So. Mm -hmm. Because, then, I don't know, they probably want the camera. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to thank everybody for the 500 subscribers and, and plus now. Uh, also, to celebrate that in the future, I do have a contest planned with actual physical gifts and prizes. So, uh, uh, keep an eye on my channel and you'll get that information here uh, sometime soon. Alright, well, I'm going to shut up and get to the good stuff right now. So, we're going to start this off uh, with Light as a Feather. Now, while looking this up, there's been a few different variations of it. Um, there's one where you sit in a chair. Uh, there's another one where you hold your hand a certain way and then tell a story and all that stuff. Uh, what we're going to try to do here is do the more classic version, just straight out on the floor. We're going to do the quick, you know, little beginning chant of like, oh, he's dying, oh, he's dead. Chant light as a feather and see if... Um, the ghosts are around to levitate me up into the air. So we'll hit that one first. And well, let's see if wolves can fly. All right, well, as you can see, I got my crew here. Just gonna see if they can get the ghosts to levitate me. Uh, a couple familiar faces. You remember Jeffy and Brittany from previous videos. Uh, I also got the double Davids here, though technically there's three of us because I'm also a David. Uh, this David's actually been around for a bit. He's been uh, holding the camera uh, when Jeffy's been on the screen. Um, but this David is a newbie to us, so um, welcome to the Will It Kill Me team. Uh, we'll sacrifice you later. Alright, so let's not delay. Uh, and if the ghosts drop me, I won't be happy. Alright, get into position. He looks ill. He, he looks, looks ill. Ill. He looks worse. He, he looks, looks worse. He's dying. He's, He's dying. dying. He's dead. He's, He's dead. dead. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. One, two, three, lift. Okay, I'll admit. That one was actually kind of terrifying. Because <laughs> I thought they were going to drop me. But hey, great job, guys, for not dropping and killing me. Almost. Uh, now, what's actually interesting about this one, though, is nothing supernatural in this. It's just plain physics. Uh, it's just distribution of weight. And you actually explained it a little bit better to me earlier. You want to give it a shot on the camera? Okay, uh, it's just distribution of, of weight. It's just taking points of pressure and equally distributing them amongst his body, so it's like we're only lifting a couple pounds each compared to lifting all of his weight by ourselves. So it's kind of funny, closest to death on the physics test. But, um, 
Oh, great job, everyone. So thanks for uh, participating in this one. I uh, still got two more sleepover games to uh, to uh, to go through before we hit our bedtime. So let's just keep moving on. All right, slumber party game number two. Concentrate. Uh, so basically, what it seemed like is the point of concentrate is to find out how you're gonna die. So there's a really creepy poem that goes along with like um, hand gestures and movements and really in general it's freaking creepy. Uh, and at the end you're supposed to see a color and the color you see determines how you're going to die. Um, I didn't look at the colors so I honestly have no idea. So pretty much if I say a color it's because I generally saw a color and we'll find out how I died here. Uh, Brittany's going to be doing the poem, and I'm going to be the unfortunate person concentrating on some really bad things. So, are you ready for this one? Yeah. Let's do it. Ready? Ready. Alright. Concentrate, concentrate, concentrate what I'm saying. People are dying, children are crying. Concentrate, concentrate, concentrate on what I'm saying. Crack an egg on your head, let the yolk run down. Crack it, let the yolk run down. Crack an egg on your head, let the yolk run down. Let the yolk run down. Concentrate, concentrate, concentrate on saying. People are dying, children are crying. Concentrate, concentrate, concentrate on saying. Squeeze an orange on your shoulder, let the juice strip down. Let the juice strip down. Squeeze an orange on your shoulder, let the juice strip down. Let the juice strip down. Concentrate, concentrate, concentrate on saying. People are dying, children are crying. Concentrate, concentrate, concentrate on saying. Stick ten needles on your side, let the blood drip down, let the blood drip down. Stick ten needles on your side, let the blood drip down, let the blood drip down. Concentrate, 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 I'm saying. People are dying, children are crying. Concentrate, 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 I'm saying. So the knife in your back, let the blood drip down. So the knife in your back, let the blood drip down. Concentrate, 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 I'm saying. People are dying, children are crying. Concentrate, 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 I'm saying. Wrap a rope around your neck. Wrap it till it's tight, wrap a rope in our neck, and pull. You're standing on a building, you're out on the ledge, you're feeling very dizzy, and you're close to the edge, and someone pushes you. Okay. That was creepy. That was, that is legitimately very creepy. And back in the, the camera lighting. Can't shy away after this. So, um, how did you feel reading that poem? I liked it. Oh, my okay, you would. I mean, it was. It, it really has some creepy imagery in it. So, um, you know, we have the uh, we have the TV over here, and they have the colors up there. I'm gonna take my color, Brittany. Mm -hmm. I want you to tell me how I'm gonna die. Okay. Yellow. You will be poisoned to death. Really? Yeah. Oh, great. Well, I guess it could be worse. Um, so since we're here, I got the colors up on here. Why don't we go through all of them, and I'll, I'll give you a little, uh, little tidbits on what they are. So if I saw red, I would be stabbed to death. Blue means you drown in water. That's actually a way I really don't want to go. That's just creepy to me. Yellow is poisoned. Orange means they will burn to death in a fire. I really don't want to go out that way either. Green means that they will fall from a height and die on grass. So I guess is there like a way like if you fall is it a color for like fall on asphalt or fall on I'm looking too much into it. Purple means you will suffocate. Brown means you'll be buried alive. Gray means they will die of a disease in a hospital. I guess that's the closest thing that you get to you know dying of old age. White means oh yeah here we go. White means they will die of old age and go to heaven. Black means they will die of old age and go to hell. So, I guess I'm really glad I didn't get black. Yeah. What color do you think you'd get? Blue, because I like blue. I guess that's all the reason to drown in water, because I like blue. Alright, so we got one more left. Now, this one supposedly should actually have a real supernatural element to it, so... Alright, and now on to our last sleepover game, Cat Scratch. Um, so this is very similar to, you know, concentrate where, you know, one person closes their eyes and another person tells them a scary story. This time about a cat and cat scratches. Um, the very interesting thing about this one, though, is supposedly at the end of it, um, the person who's hearing the story will get 
like red claw marks on their back like they were scratched by a cat. So, uh, I actually got my friend David here, who is the lucky guy who's going to get my head in his lap and tell me that scary story. You looking forward to that? Oh yeah. Alright. Uh, but now, beforehand, I just want to make sure I don't have any previous red claw marks. So, that's my back there. All of you two. Uh, any, any claw marks? Nope. Any claw marks? Nope. Alright. Now let's see if they get clawed by a ghost cat. Alright. You are walking through a dark alley late at night. You are the only one there. The ground is slick with rain. The alley is filled with garbage cans and litter. But then you hear something. A movement in the garbage cans. You, can, you pick up your pace. You want to get out of the alley fast. But then you see something. Red eyes. Glowing red cat eyes. They are the eyes of an enormous cat. You run, but the cat chases you and jumps on you. It scratches you. One, two, three. Cat scratch. Cat scratch. Cat scratch! All right. Yeah. Anything there? There's scratches in. Really? Lightly, yeah. Oh. Huh. Did you see anything, Jeffy? Lightly, yeah. All right, yeah, point them out for the camera. They're here and here. They're already fading. Yeah, they were here and here. They're more visible than before when you just got up. Wow. That is something. So I guess that's really, you know, mind over matter, huh? All right, well. Let's stand up and review. Alright, so now that was Cat Scratch. And not done by these cute little guys here. Uh, that is Pixel. And this little one is Glitch. They're uh, Brittany and uh, her girlfriend's little, little fuzz balls. And they're so adorably cute. But now we're off subject. But going back to Cat Scratch, it's actually really interesting that there were actually scratches. I, I don't know if you saw them on the camera, but I got you know people here who can vouch for them. Um, Brittany actually had a pretty good idea of what could have caused this. Do you want to let them know real quick what you uh? Well, uh, he was laying on the shirt and the creases may have just caused the imprints on his back. It's a possible explanation. Yeah, that, that's possible. Uh, also, could be a form of, you know, self-hypnosis, you know, mind over matter sort of thing. Or maybe there's just a weird ghost cat that just likes scratching people after you do a chant. Hmm. I don't know. All I know is that apparently red bars did show up. Now, um, after doing all these sleepover games, uh, really, in the end, it's, I think it's just about kind of getting that, you know, that fun, creepy mood up for, uh, for everybody when they're up late at night. Uh, I don't really think that there's anything paranormal with any of these. What do you guys think? Not really. No? No. No? Just, no. Somewhat. I, I think it can be. Mm -hmm. in, in more of a sense that you're haunting yourself with it. So you kind of trick yourself into thinking that something's actually happening. Yeah, I, I agree. It's really almost like tricking your mind into, into, you know, into going into it. Um, it's, I think it's interesting. It's definitely you know, kind of a show of mind over matter some of the, with some of the stuff. Or physics. Or, you know, color work for concentrate. Um, but anyway, I do have some other good Will It Kill Me's planned, including, and I'm hoping, actually going out to some haunted locations. So uh, we're going to see how that goes on some future episodes. Uh, if you want to see more of this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, this is Lupus Creepus and crew and adorable little kittens. <coughs> and that's Bishop over there, well, David. <laughs> and we are all out.